day. So we're pretty excited to have this razor grazer being put to work out in our pasture here at Lakeline College. Um, this was actually donated by Range Ward by Neil Thorstensen. So we are super appreciative of his work with us. And yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to doing some rotational grazing on this pasture with this razor grazer. So we're down here on LCP 23 and it's just kind of rolling hills, typical of the Vermilion area here. And we've got um, some kind of bush areas, some trees, a little bit of hills, got a nice large hill over in the back and the grass is coming. We did have a drought year last year, so we definitely are a little short this time of year, but we're looking forward to the benefits that we're gonna see of being able to rotate this pasture a little bit. We've got a big stock tank here that we pump water into for their water source. So they have to come up here for the water. And then we've built an alleyway all the way down to the south end of the pasture in order for them to come up to water here. So a little bit about the Razor Grazer. It's a nice little setup. It's on wheels, it hooks on to um, a regular two inch ball hitch and then it's got the reels that you can hook onto on the back for all of the wire and the fence. Um, it's got the little pigtail posts on it. We actually need to run two wires so we're using a little bit different posts. Um, but yeah you can see the reel and then when you need to wind them up you just press this nice button and it'll wind up quite quickly. So that is some of the that takes some of the labor out definitely is when you can wind it up right here on on this machine it also has the solar panel here um, to be able to charge the battery also just a note to make sure that the solar panel is actually facing the south so that it can get the most out of the sunshine and I can just show you the kind of setup inside. It's got this little box in here. So we've got a nice big battery. I believe it's like a deep cycle battery here. And then our little solar converter and onto our fence charger. So fairly straightforward setup, but it's nice that it's in this contained little box all hooked up to this trailer. So easy to move around the pasture. Here's another piece of equipment that is actually amazing um bungee gates so they've got the little hooks on the ends insulated plastic plus they conduct and i am used to like the high tensile wire gates that as soon as you pull them out they sproing and they bend and they snap at you <laughs> so i'm very excited about these bungee cord gates um i don't have information about where you get them or how much they cost but you need them they are amazing we definitely didn't need this many people out there, but we were all just pumped about the setup and it was a beautiful day. So these are the pigtail posts we used with the top that is kind of like a normal one. And then there's multiple options for the height of the second wire. So this is ideal for when you have little calves that are gonna be coming out on here. And then if you keep it hot, they should learn to stay in. Then for anything where you need a little bit of strength, we just pulled and put some T-posts on and then you just use these little insulators. Let's see if I can do it one-handed here <laughs> while I hold my camera, but they just kind of clip on. Eh, I'm gonna have to set this down and then I'll show you how they really look. And these are the insulators. This post is a little bit crooked, so it's kind of going through on a little bit of an angle, but that is what they look like. So here is the alleyway coming from the north to the south and on the west side there where the horse trailer is parked is paddock one. Here is our gate system so you can see over here where Janet and Amy are working on unraveling some electrical wire. We've got paddock one. Now this is our gate system. So you can see these gates are closed for paddock one. And now we want to move cows to paddock two. 
Do do do. Kareen moves it and hooks it up. And now the cows can come from this alley into paddock two. And that is a very simple change. Now for paddock three, we're gonna continue this alleyway going from this post straight down. So if you can imagine another alleyway to go down there. And then we open up this alleyway, stick it across on this little triangle. And now we have this alleyway that'll go all the way to the south. And there'll be another post about, oh, about right there that'll then take a fence to go across to the west. And we have three paddocks. some buffalo beans. They just make me so happy.